Hey, what's up? How you doing? And welcome to our on Devstar. It's a tour here. We're going to be looking at um, Laravel. So, this is where I use the company, the basic Laravel tutorial. So, this is a push personality. And this is going to cover all for the video I made. I did it complete this push person. So, it's going to cover everything up. All right, so, guys, that exactly is what I just dive into it. All right, so, if you're new to this channel, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Subscribe to Devstar channel. You know what? Let's get to one case subscribers before the end of February. I think that's personal. All right, so without further ado, let us dive into it. So before we get started, I need to upload this here. So, so before we get started, we need to start to our Laravel project. So I'm going to be installing back Composer. And as of now, I don't have Composer installed yet. So let's go to Composer. Let me search for Composer. We're going to head over to download. Since I'm using this, I'm just going to download this. If you're using anything like Linux, just go ahead and copy this um, all the way. So let's come up, download this. Um, yeah, so it's downloaded already. Um, okay, so let's just try and open this up. So it's still for all user recommended. Yes, um, while I study this, make sure you have uh, make sure you have a uh, example stored already. So yeah, so you can set a PHP file to make sure you have it stored already. So the next, I'm just going to install it. So you know, let's click on next, install. And uh, yeah, what is it? It should be installed already. Yes, next, finish. Okay, so let's go uh, and hit control R. Let's go to that and in control R. If I say I have a command, meaning it has been installed already. So this is going to play this. So I want to send into my documents for that. That's why I want to create my project. So to create my project, I want to just pass in. This command, or we can install Laravel view value. So when we set up Laravel view value, you can just put Laravel command like this. I will create or add a new, and I can create our project. So we can also direct it from this place. So what's going to be directed from here? I'm going to copy this, and I'm going to paste this. Here. So I'm going to you know, name this so our project to enjoy the Laravel. Laravel to enjoy the Laravel to click enter. So this is going to create our Laravel project for us. So why that is great in our ledgers with okay so let's just wait for that to install and uh, check it out. So this is right here. So install so in this tutorial I'm gonna give me I'm gonna be making the something for Tail CSS. So we want CSS. Yeah, so this is what we're gonna make use for our front end. So we're gonna be learning how to use 7 CSS with Laravel. All right, so we're clicking on this. It's not working. We're gonna have to put it on. Um, yeah, okay, sorry. I got disconnected from my internet. See, so please just wait on when I fix that. Um, so here, yeah, okay, good. So this should work now, yeah. So this is working now. So this way, I'm making use of demo CSS is very, very nice. Actually, I don't know CSS, but once you come to tell me, yeah, I can just talk with it, but I'm not very good at CSS. So I'm not very good at CSS, so I'm just going to try and use the CSS. This is very nice. And yeah, so this, this is the game now. And for you that I just need to this, let's just take a look at um, how to win CSS works. So it sells a bunch of classes like Bootstrap, but it, it does not have a complement or a built in stuff. You have to like, like this card and do Bootstrap has a card and then I just go to that for us. No, you have to like write it down. So it's very flexible for you to be able to edit what you want to learn, what you want to edit. All right, I'm talking about um, where well, I get a lot of, lot of things going on. You'll see it has, uh, it is built the most to uh, screen size, the different color, and um, as you can see here, photography, let as shadows, as a um, lot of things you can you know, undo it. So you can see the first time in one. So the the a lot of things you can actually do with it. Um, and I see now the level of this is when you actually want to coach a compile kids and I read 
the CSS and by itself. It is very, very sick. It's very, very, very nice. I don't know. Yeah. And it can reduce its responsiveness also. So you can then uh, run this to see what's possible. Yes, you can see. And the mobile view that is. Yeah, so it's very, very nice. So, um, so let's just wait for this to run the story. You, you can be simple and well, this is the only thing that all shall be CSS stuff and writing. Oh, yeah, it's actually much more. Once you get used to it, you will you feel like going around. It's actually needed for those events. And you can actually shorten it by just by putting it into the There's a way to do that in terms of CSS. Okay, for sure, you can do that. So let's see. Yeah, so well, I like this. I even about this. This is a code here, yeah, too bad for that. All we have is this approach of that. Yeah, I've always wanted to learn how to do this. Let me just check that out. Okay. I want to, I want to know how they added, how they added the icon. Just. Okay, so let's wait here. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, I got one. Alright, so. Uh, Larry, I'm uh, taking most of our time. Uh, this is going Okay. Uh, yeah. Now let's check it out about that and see how wait about the application here. Uh, yeah, you can even do it. We actually can use the new Umbrella Blade. So this blade is actually Larabe. So you're going to make use of it. You know, this Larabe on uh, what is a popular screen like somehow? Yeah, if you're not using license, like, like React, do you know what you want If I just use it in your memory, your CSS, uh, yeah, you see the same thing. Um, yeah, it comes with dark mode now, so dark mode, which is very, very nice. Which is actually, actually very, very sick. And then, um, yeah, you can see it's simple to use here. Yeah, very, very editable. You can see if I don't create your own clock palettes that you want to use, it's still using the default one. And um, here we have the clip for color. You can see different type of colors. So colors with different shades, like we have text, I think, I think 500. So I got into the shade of blue, which is like a very dark kind of blue stuff. So yeah, so that's that. Oh, wow. A few thought then. Dot plus ID and the pressure are so great. And tiring CSS or plugin for the shops to the post. And it won't faster you while you like it. You don't want to be putting everything in those kind of ways. So I think you either to Windows 6, it's a Windows either to come. So this actually the app pre um, pre design stuff. You can just check it out on the visit to the one to use it. And some are not pre actually. So we have to be able to get access to it. Um, all right, so let us wait for this to finish up. So we are on. I have been stuck like this, I'm just going to play this. So let's see what it is. I'm going to see the interlarial rail tools. So I'm going to open this with Visual Studio Code. So let's go to Code Dots. It's open to Visual Studio Code. And uh, yeah. So all of them are users of PHP at this time. So, so PHP at the last time, this one to open the development. Environment for so we want to copy this to so everybody to your browser and just uh, sit right here so you can see we have Laravel installed already. Beautiful. Good. So Laravel has been installed, so we want to install the next phase, which is the CSS. And to install the CSS, make sure you have a Node.js installed on your computer already. All right, because we don't have the maintenance of that. So you're going to search for Laravel here. So for Laravel, so this is Laravel. Yeah. So to so install Laravel, the first thing you need to do is install this for CSS and not to be fixed. So I'm going to close this. This is, I'm sorry. Not like that. So we're going to place this once. So we can pass. So this is going to install some CSS with full CSS and not to be fixed. So now um, the next one we're going to do is to our Tell CSS project and we share. Initial project which will be tamed.config.js, which is going to hold this type of configuration in case you want to configure how we check in the future. Right, beautiful. So, uh, 
So let's look for this to finish the story. Okay, so let's look for this to finish the story. So I have done that already. So somebody is just create this. So let's sort of put on space dot in. So this is gonna create the term dot of the JS five course. So yeah, so just create that. Um, yeah, this is right here. So not create this. So yeah, so you get back to that. All of these just head over and copy this. And let's head over to web park. Let's make the JS and let's post this here. Save this. So let's post that, save this. And now uh, let's put it to use just a data and then save this, copy that on it. And let's just use this here. So save and, and finally put it to just copy this. Let's head over to our let's just to control P and search for output CSS. So let's basically say save. So let's see that you can buy and close everything now. All that's a save, and you can apply this on Google NPM raw watch. Just like it has been decided here. So you will watch it or change this with make so you know that okay, this is actually happening. So let's wait for this to run our watch. Okay, so this didn't load down that way. I don't know the middle of this error, so let's go on. Quick means, but at least it's all successful. All right, so what that is done. So let us go ahead and look at this. I said, first one to look at is all. Uh, the solar and the diameter is a MVC framework, which really is a model based on So we have the model. Model so this model is equivalent to our article. That's how this that we have the HTTP where we have the controller. So this controller is actually the logic that we compare to when in our view. So the view is not the view exactly what we see in the page. Meaning this weapon of page is actually is actually the speech that we see. No, not the speech, it's actually the speech that we see. So we should like go ahead and just delete it. We're going to delete this. Uh, instead of doing that, let's just grab and retain templates. This is it. Save. Let's go ahead and refresh that. That's it. That's good. Our stuff. Um, yeah, sorry. We have a card. So we're just going to run this server. Control G. And let's do PHP access itself. So we're just going to wait for this to open up. Okay, so let's do PhD at this uh, so. Oh god, why is this so slow? PhD at this so. Okay, click enter. So let's just run our server or no, check, check out it. So they can see this as on the two CSS and the new, which is a text, the reaction large fonts, put on, it should be underlined because they are looking at some CSS using the assets. So we're gonna get but we are gonna get to this. This is a bit simple story, we're gonna get into that. Um, why is this taking forever to load up? Okay, good. So let's check it out. This is the first time it's the food here. Um okay. I actually don't know why my system is not a slow to get it. So that's what we have in line here. So we have to go ahead and do X blue and the shade of 500. So I should save this. So I'm going to refresh this. So refresh that on all. Okay, great. This is step of very much another. Like I said, we have things built up on that. Uh, so, we have to write many of those types So, the most part is just, this is better and design a lot. Um, anyway, I'm actually taking a sense in. So, we are not building anything in this project. So, I just talk to you in the scenario and tell me, there's going to be a change of my because I want you to um, get actually deep in it. So, we are not going to be. 
hidden and missing. Just gonna, we're just going to provide the controllers and routes, the hotels and how the query, the eloquent ORM and how everything works. I think that is actually going to be a better way of doing this. I'm just going to open up the new PHP terminal. So what we're going to do is, uh, let me just say this. So what we're going to do is just, we want to create our post controller. So the controller is actually the logic, like I said. So we create a controller, we have accessor command. So I should give PHP accessor. So we have the accessor command. So the accessor command is like the command line for ladder that's built to do some basic command for us, some basic stuff for us. So if we check this out, you can see we have lots of commands. We are going to make use of make. So make works. So we're going to make use of make controller to make our controller. So we're going to drag this down back. Try this. As a PHP accessor. Accessor make. Make controller. So what we need on the controller, let's just do home controller. So what I do on the home controller is we really yeah, we've created the controller, home controller, it's also created it one for us and then we include it in the necessary thing we're supposed to into it. And let's go ahead and do public. So we need to create a function so it says it's a class, the public function index. And let's do uh click. let's just do echo hello. Watch, which is actually the first thing we need to write once we've done our stuff. So let's check this out. So am I am I going to do this? I don't know. So the only respective way to do this is using our now. So what is a is, a, is like a part to where we want where we want our data to be loaded for. So example, we are going to like this uh, this library website now. So we can put this next page in route. This is the route. This is the route. So you understand what I'm saying? So we want to be able to access the home controller with the route. So to access the route, we need to put it back to the, uh, the route itself. We can send it anything, put it back to the web of Spoon Street. API is when you are building API. So we get back to our cursor is our actually when we are in the cursor command. And um, I don't know what this channel does. Okay. Where are these channel does? Um, where is this Aspire? And the page speed. That's his son, uh, Aspire. This first time I was saying it's all not here. What's happening first is the market. So this, uh, this is a super combined with SA that auto generates codes for me, which is actually nice. So what I want to do is just add a lot of web. So this is where we are sending the, um, the, the main square, which is this one. I want to go ahead and create our own route. So to put my route, we're going to have the route. So we want to get, so get to get to the want to get to request. Let's do own. So you go to home, we want to do like like the home slash as in we want to be able to see this. Let's do home controller. So select a class. So we want to select the method. So the method is just index. So you see So that we're passing the index. All right. So we can save this and I'll go back to. So you're going to have a error initially. So let's do it all. So you can see that can flow to a point. So normally, it's supposed to be auto import. It's supposed to be not so. The reason why I'm building the library because I know our PHP it tell you it tell you So this is when I start at three. So this says this not this this way. So now I start this real quick. So why that is installed? Let me just try a product out to be that. So the idea is to use use um the folder. So the folder there is um. I think this has been stuck already because I was tired to think how I'm going to do this. And I was so much to it. I'm going to and just do click on here and do control space. Take my sister's import so that it imports that for us. So if my sister has imported it from app, it should be controllers, one controller. So I should add about here and refresh. Oh, controller, controller. What is that? Oh, sorry. 
So you, you you wrote this to control your okay. So let's refresh this. Now you can see we have hello world. So hello world is actually what is being rendered on this place. Look, so how can we pass data to our rocks? So let's take a look at that. That's the reason one. But it is so it is there. So let's I want to have home slash notes are like a number. So where can it just do it? It is a number. Can you see? So you have a number here. So you can write and drop down here and do public function program. So this one should be a set of parameter. So we can name it limit so which one is number. And then it's going to be return the number. So I'm going to return the number to see what I actually get. So I should refresh this. Now is that so I should go to like, let's say, theory. Um, yeah, so we're still getting. I think I'll almost change this route to like each, so page number. Oops, yeah, sorry about that. So we need to change this. We can leave that in there. So let's change this to. Oh, so we are still going to go. See, let's refresh that. So you can see we have three, two, three, so you can see we have six. So let's have to pass the back through our around. And um, possibly you can pass a little data actually, you can go and pass if I like. Not very similar. Not again, so you can just say H. So you can learn and do with terms. I am questions age age of what's the number. So you can write on the page number and work work out. So maybe you work out the work at all. So which is the work here? Um yeah, so we don't then we need to specify it soon in this place. So I'm passing to data so no. Sorry, what? Uh, yes, so let's refresh this. We're getting an error saying for the so we need another one. Let's see. I'm not trying my insane. Let's see. Very soon do it. Yeah, you can see I'm special saying my team and I work as a group. So it doesn't pass data to our controller. And then we the next we need to do is now, and I'll also dive into the database as for the question. This will actually cover basically what we need it in, in to get started. Let's look at our models. So, to create a model, what we need to use your soul. To find the dependency, the models are, are more like what it's like. Some things are airports that are in our database. So, we can create models to airports that are from database. Right, so let me try and put a model to create model as a sound to make model. So I want to make model of health boosts. I'm doing that, I want to create a migration. I'm going to explain that so that I click and tap. So the model has been created here. You can see the folder change a little bit. So the model has been created in this model. So you can see we have the post model here. Then it's created a migration file for us, which is located in the that's how these migrations are these. So this migration here is I also so just like one of migration and it's about to create a table for us. We don't need to go to each and then I start creating table manually, which is a um, kind of stressful. So this do this for us and this model connects to it actually. You know what I'm saying? So it also allows us to interact with the model. So this is not gonna work like I want this. So I need to open up my exam, start this. So I need to put the database so I have a database hotel. So let's go and put in database. And while that is loading, head over to your this AMVA. You need to edit some stuff. So yeah, so I just want to name this Laravel. So just leave it like that. So the uh, on exam, the default username is wrong, root, sorry, and the password is on up here. This entity, so this Laravel, you can name it anything you want to name it. So we're just gonna wait for this loader. So we're gonna click on new to put new database. So we're just gonna put it here. Save. So that has been created already. So let's go and just do 
off with migrations first. So migration, you want to put in migration first. If that's the go ID for us, where is okay to better itself. So what's put in migration? So the first migration is label. I am a new colon away. Label. So in that this I want to specify a string. So I want to pass a string. A string. So what will be the name of a string then? So I'll find the so. So by two, we can also have the table again. Then we have another string, which will be, let's say, user. So I want to say by rule. In the last cell, to the table, so that's with text. So this will be like a very big text. So context. So if I should go and do PHP at this side, um, migrate. Now, take a look at this. This is actually empty, so I should run this now. As you can see, created some other migration because this are created by default for the education system. We don't need them actually now, so I just look at the basics. Right, so we should create more structure again. Boom, oh, that's it, that's what we created this first. We look at our post here. We should click on it. So that's our title user app content. And it's also prepared, created, and updated at first, which is this timestamp here. Then we have the ID, which is actually this ID that is created here. Good. So one that is that, we need to head over to this place. Okay, before we head over to that place, I want you to see the error we're done in front of. So, so that, uh, to do that, we don't, I don't want to use the system. Let's make it a console here. Yeah. So let's do PHP as a sign. So let's do PHP as a sign. There's a query share we can use to interact with this. So let's do PHP as a sign. So we just want to do for the share. Um, I sorry, I was trying to try this up. So let's go ahead and look for the show we going to use. So we have DB, ENV, and blah blah blah. So we based on what we want to do. I'm going to make it all the So in the mouse is kind of crazy. Um, Trying to look for things because I also can't. I can't. Okay, yeah. So it's actually got a PHP team card. So it was a PHP son. Team card, just like we have in Django or HD shell. So we can also do a sense of PHP. So for it's actually for Laravel and Like I said, once that is done already, the program I just do post equals to um, use. So once we got it up, models then let's do app models and now what's the wrong our model which is posts. Okay, so we have always got the sensor user posts. Um actually making mistakes here. Uh, Let's bring back our website to the same stuff. So let's go and do the post equals to app. So we want to do the new instead app. So we want to call it as a new app. New app equals to models folder. So in the models folder, always on our model posts. And I say so, what's your prop posts? Post is going to tell us, okay, this is a model. So what I want to do is uh, let's do post to get all our posts. So this is actually eloquent for our user. Don't be looking at this. Let's uh, it's actually to get a lot of posts from that page. I can see it's currently empty. So let's go ahead and create a new post. So let's do forty eight. Um, let's go ahead and just add for one new for our title. Let's say new post for user situations or for the content. Let's say, let's say, amazing. So let's run this. You can see we have another that says, uh, must be a type of array string given here. Yeah. So we need to pass this as an array instead. So I'm just going to do that at the bracket here. I run this. I go to label for what to allow mass. This here. Yeah. So the reason why this is not going to be because we need it allow what we need to allow. So let's add that. So we will try this how I need to be. Oh, hello? Yeah. 
So we need to just do it. Protected, so we want to like and it's okay. I want it to accept everything I'm trying to send to you, fill it in, which is the one is the tied to the one is our user, and the third one is content. All right, cool. So this is one of them. So let's just go back here and do it. We have some things to think again. There's a post equals to new app slash model slash posts. So the error so let's go and save something. So if I do post then select the title. So let's say hello world. So we have that set as a word. So let's learn to do user. So the user will be me, which my name is Precious. Okay. We have that. Then we want to do post. So the last one, which is content. So let's go and do amazing. Once so, so we finalize this, we just need to pass in post save. So this will see, you can see it will come true. So that should be our nose with posts or to get all our data. You can see it will be inserted out the time to database. So let's confirm that. I do buy here, click on browse. As we inserted the data to our database easily. That's why uh, our is actually very nice to use. All right, so we've learned how to do this like this. Um, we can also get posts by ID. So let's do posts. Find the ID of the door, which is this um, ID of her. So we learn how to do this. So let's just do that in a controller here. So let's do public. So I'm going to be in controller. So the public function store. We're looking at how to save data store. What I want to do is just call, I can just call posts. Sorry, so post sound to import this posts. So you can see it has put on it import as for us post, then we're gonna do create. So we're gonna use an, another method here. So we're gonna create um, create, so let's gonna create our uh, Type to new type to for the user. Let's do F stack and for the content. Let's do okay. So let's save this. So what I want to do is just everybody at the country C. Sorry. So see, I'm going to so we want to change it to the post request because we are actually posting to the server and save it to the database. So for I want to post this support and let's use the one. But let's just everyone to support that is store. And then what did I mean that I didn't use the one also? So good. So I should go ahead and now uh, let us this post. I right? go ahead and do stop. So, yeah, so the get method is separate for this shot. Yeah. So the get method is separate for this shot because we are trying to access this by just loading it to the page, which is not an output. So what we're gonna do is just this our then controller here. So there we have this so we're placed by our render in view. So let's make it turn. So the other one which is going to be let us name this four. So we don't need to pass PHP or whatever our first name and it's it 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 may want to do suppose it views soon operator and four that's lead that's PHP. So this is for Larvin. So what I want to do is copy this is this here. So it's to form. So method is actually gonna be post. 
and action. So this is where you're going to learn the route naming. So route naming is actually the name you give to your route. So I want to give we are you need to give this a route. This a name. So let us give it a name. So I give the name store so we can access this name anywhere. Even though you change the route, just add put in store signal to go to the where you change it to in the future. So what to do with that? So what's the route? So we to be best to your score. So we want to have our input field text. So let's just do class to be rounded MD shadow of MD partner of our basic for range should be of zero. And um, yeah, so that should be so let's check this out. Save it. Let's go to old. So we have our formula. Yeah. So let's go ahead and just if this is not actually visual and it is a little to that I don't learn to any CSS, I have to throw the on the So just everybody and watch it. So let's do bot same. Submit. So let's do class. So class will be as a BG equal to. 500 was it text text white but you know so rounded match let's just set so where's this set that's really all right um uh, yeah so let's just i don't know that sweet okay so this is good uh, all of this just like and just cost this up but let's put this in like a grid kind of system so we don't want yeah something like that so all of it like that so I don't can I just like pick and add one or two out of the yeah so we want just out of bits so you know just out of bits and uh so, so as to see what I'm doing, I'm just gonna do. And let's also do this out. I think so. So, still, I'm so the app is open. Oh, it's just, um, just like, what's this again? And the div dot bg dot up a lot of gray should be 500. So, I guess. Yeah, so I can see what, what is happening. So we have that. So I want to be an hour like two, two more. So we have to let's go on three. We have the padding top of four. Also, the idea is the padding top of four. Save this. So we have the padding. Let's the padding. So the padding. We can just do adding x of four so that is padding horizontal. Yeah, padding horizontal yeah, is padding vertical of four. So it's not going down. So just write here once we do div dot padding top of four or so. So where should it? so we add this for our stop um I just make it really good and make this so that this is type 2. This type 2 is this so that for user, this so that for context. Let's refresh this. I said, I was going to click on send now. You can say I have 419 feet expired. The reason why I'm adding this is that is the reason why I cannot send a push request. Uh, it's because actually after the form we need to specify something we call CSR, which is cross site um body cross uh, cross site body or something like that, which I will use the job for for security purpose so that I uh, like when it happens to not the data I or she wants to be able to like you know manipulate to the data to like against what the best be to be better. So that's why I'm not going to do that. So let's go and send the request again. 
I can say, add title to flavor property to allow mass alignment. I think we've done that already. Yes, protected. Oh, flavor, sorry. So, protected flavor. Let's go back. And let's send this. I think we've sent that already. So, let's refresh this. And I see we have the second one as the refreshed already. As we sent back, which is actually this form. From our uh, voice here, I'm just going to use this from this place here. You can see, but we don't want that here. So, what we're going to do is also request. So, that's going to put it for us. Request. So, all of these are just lab request. Request try to grab request user. And lastly, grab request content. Okay, so this is just like 10 minutes. Okay, we want to like store what we are passing here. So let's say, okay, okay, okay. And let's send this. And I say, everything is going to be node. Yeah, so everything is, is actually node there. So the reason why for that is about your form, you need to. Pass a name to your to your input field. So this one is going to be I2. This one is going to be user. This one is going to be content. Save this for French. Let's try that again. Okay. 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 Now let's click on send. Like I said, that's going to let us we have it here. Right, so it's actually uh, easy, easier what to do. So let's go out there. Instead of doing this, I just delete this. And let's do the request for. Oh. So this is going to get on the request. Sorry, that's why I passed it. And the other way it can work is if your name is actually matching you know, the way you link the database tip. So that's how it can actually go through. So those refreshes can try that. So testing. Best, best, and let's send. And I see, yeah, it's going to just be at the same stuff there. Okay, good. And yeah, so that is that. Let's look at how we can get back our data. So I'm just going to end right down there. So let's go back to where we have this form. So instead of using this form here, so what I want to do is just do. Include there's a there's a data dot create dot php. You know, php. You know, so I do. Um, yeah, so one way is just include right in this space. So I like, just type on that. I'm going to do it. So, oh, let me do it in the same background. So, yeah, so when you say bound down that, actually, so I'm going to check this out. So, so when you say bound in like that, so I'm going to do adding, adding to what I said before. Okay, good. All of the, all we are going to do is just uh, add. Include so this will so include our file. So, what if I want to include? Want to include the data file? So let's see this. So, we have a that should be the most like thing of nonsense. Say, so it's going to include the data for that place. So, this place. So, what we're going to do now is that uh, let's head on to this index and uh, so I don't know I'm to okay now so we can run properly on the shell. I think we can make this again so you can just come on this side. Where's a public public function? So public function should be uh let us say this case. So we don't need a lot for this so let us over here. So what we are returning data. 
Só um então, detalhe, só uma vez já assim. Post. Oi. Só essa é um grave de detalhe. So you go and check that there's a command that I use, which is the, the use of die and dog. So we want to see how our results. So let's die and dog here. So we actually run this. Let's sorry, okay. So this is the so we need to return it with the uh, user of the like, activities. So then we'll see about the right. So this is the new time that we'll see as so we have our data being at the very outside. So who's actually working? So, um, so I'm gonna do this. So, what I want to do is just let's go and pass this as boosts. Just stick close to that. Then we do boosts here. Okay, good. So, let's go to grab that. And then I'm gonna do that and I'm do it for each one. So, for each boosts as Posts. So for each post as posts and for each. So that's just what I'm doing. So we use the book within bracket to show our results. Those are posts also in the French side. Like so. So I should we have one of every which is posts. Um Okay, so this already. Now let us put a look at it. We can say this. Posts. And we're going to be able to get that. Okay, so I think what well, we can do is so sterile. Let's do something like, like this. So let's get that. To this, so this guy turning on posts. Okay, so we don't need to send it over here. I just put the comma, close this, save. The next one is to take that. So this is actually posts now. So I should close this. So I'm going to find out posts. Mine is taking this software. So, the find the tab post. Um, I don't know, I'm trying to figure out the mistake. So, I'm going to update this here. I'm also going to comment this. Let's see what's on here. Okay, yeah, so I grab an example here. So the whole tool is, is then actually always, it's actually always I'm um, this. So uh, let us edit that. Okay, yeah, let's put this here. Let's, let's put this here. And let's do, how do I pass it from here? How do I pass it from here? I'm going to save the fresh. So if I see it's actually working now, so we actually run the light into the passing point this piece. See, so let's check the game. Okay, I can see it's working now. So we have the type two out. Um there's an easier way to do this, which is by those doing uh we just calling this. And let's do posts we post here. Posts. Grab one so if I know that I do so it's with a compact to compact posts. Sorry, not that posts. So if you save this and I refresh that, they see the same thing. So basically, you can do like that. So let's try and install this. So when we did that, so how do you only click them? I should that and rounded large to out 
I don't know. Um, should... Yeah, so the helmet is of use in that case. The body number um, two, which is P two. So P two, sorry. Oh god. Oh gosh, is is actually dark here. I can't see very so okay. Bro. So P2, let us just do post I2. So you want to get a post I2 here. So save this. So I save this. Okay, so we have a post I2 here. So we want to do it on um, BG should be white instead. Yeah, so we want that then. Uh, each unit. Yeah, I do the parting. Okay, let's have a ring that too. I'm going to do a uh, space. Why should we have four? So we want very space in all. So, okay, we got a little for this actually. It needs like a group of stuff. So, I was two to. Yeah, we got button to four. I'm going to put it see. Around the map, so this is uh, where it's supposed to be, maybe outside this. I don't know. Yeah, so we have that. So, yeah. but, so let's go around these um, Let's go around the like B arms. Let's do posts, post from um, user. So it's not like doing this. Let's just let's cut this and do it. So, we can spark, so class would be like text, SM, as you text, delay of 200. So, what if smart text, I mean, as you, as you can see it here. Let's just put it to 500 instead. I'll put it to 500 instead. What do you do? So let's say right in the front, we want the date to be first known. Date is auto created for us, so we want the date. Now to make a way out of date, we will get at save this. Fresh. That's what we have the date. But we want it to be real. So we can go ahead and do div for emails. So different, I mean that is differences for emails. But different ones for events. So save this. Yeah, you can see we are from some people, but some people are chopping people. I mean, you will notice um, something here. It's actually very, very like this. So I wanted to make like the link list to it, the list. That's it, it's different test. I will then do that. So let's have a back to it. Control R here. So instead of doing the test, we call it, I mean, let's just do the test. So it's, it does grab the agency boss, but that's it for us. Uh, okay, that doesn't work quite soon. All of those parts and leak lists, I think so. Make the leak list of my exists. The next leak list and get maybe. Yeah, so we want to get the leak list so we can see it is working. So from that time, we are already moving to a core system already. So they just do that. So next thing I want to do is, uh, I will know, like, yeah, what about, what about this? So we don't know what's going on right now. So let's go to the data right now. Right? So before we do that, we need to like go to the ER and also bottom type of right. Let's say, okay. so it's, let's do exit. So be able to do what they did instead. So let's do EG with five point bread. But now for white. I don't know, so rounded, rounded and 
So how do I leave both sides text right? And let's do find out what is there. So when that's under next now zero, you can use what say. So so we should let's we should like that's it for the bus is an edit button, so the leash should be red instead. See, so, so we can also bind this to delete. Okay, so what we're going to do now is uh, edit. So for that edit, let's go and create another view. So this will go edit.blade.php. And why that? Everything it is for everyone. This is so we don't need we don't need this. Don't need that. And uh, yeah, so these are the basic things we need. The this piece will become an update. So let us we do that very soon. Save this. And yeah, for this piece, let's comment this. So let's make this a bit. Let's see ID. Delete this and let's just return. Let's return the view, which is a bit. Okay, so let's go back to the route, right? Which is this place? So there is going to be a bit ID. I think the ID is like a bit also. So this goes on the I just need this edit. Okay. And yeah, slash edit. So let's take a look at that. Okay, good. So let's add over to like edit. So we have four for not found. We have to write like, edit slash one. Yeah, so it was found. So Let's go back here, refresh this, right to add this. Uh, yeah, what I want to do is add one to the data. But let's go this button to an H tag. And I want to delete every single every solid button here. So now we have this is the H right. So this should be like Will be be a route a route to the deeds to a bit from our post so post ID and close this. The session actually is going to go to where the beat. Oops, yeah, sorry. So say the yeah that should be to work. So let's refresh this. So we have the edit, you can see edit for edit one. So let's click edit one. Let's see. And then the route for edit. So we also we also we also do that with it. It's very soon. And uh it is the edit here. So let's go to controller and let's do posts. Then find or else you don't want to find the word the ID. So I should find the ID method and let's pass posts. Post like this for that loop. So let's let me just sing the line instead because we're not getting we're not fetching all the data, we're just fetching one data. So let's make it that thing singular. So let's go to the edit. So one of these is not okay, but I show the data here. Who's gonna be posts by two? So let's see this and say that the posts. Yeah. Who's gonna be on your find because we need to go out to compact. So let's do compact posts. So fresh, I can see we have a reward. And uh, let's just copy this. 
paste this into the user. Paste this is going to be content. And then uh, we can initially change this to update. So we have that here, right? Beautiful. So what we're going to do update it. So to update it, we can also have uh, the Okay, so to this, we need to create another one. Let's do public. Public function update. Right. We're going to pass the ID. So we look at that very soon. So we are going to update. So we save this. Head over to the web. I'm just going to copy this. This is a post request to. Updates of it, then you want to go to the edits, let's change to updates. So we speed down. We want to pass, we want to pass an update, right? So let me pass an update, so it's going to be I'm um, sorry. Yeah, so the other others is going to pass that's an ID or so. It's going to get an ID. So it's going to get an ID. And then we can go to the edits here. Place to posts. Post ID. Let's do that. Here. Let's do. Let's do a post. So we can also post. We can also update. Last one. The quality should work. So let's save this. Right. As we have another error, said the these posts. Uh, yeah, we need to process of like requests, requests, and uh, yeah, we should be expecting an error in this place. So, you know, we should not be post as this on the map. Exactly what I was saying. So, let me post equals to new posts. So, if I go on a resume. Post I two equals to requests request I two. Okay, okay, so this is going to be user. I just want to be context. That's what I'll do. Post updates. I think that we should get something like, yeah, so let's say ID. The name was your ID, so I want to pass the link. A bit by this ID instead. So let's refresh this. So let's refresh this at zero data points. And let's just go from updates. So let's see. I think the argument actually was very proper variation. String is given. Yeah, because of this that we did here. So, why don't I just go and do save? I should do save and I like the questions. Let's say that I was going to let's see that. With where is that? I see created another one for us. Which is not what's going So we want to actually update. Okay. Let's go and set to that. Let's go and delete this.
so I need to do and to be able to specify the route of our bonds, this one is going to be this place. Yes, that I said this name. So these are the one we need to access all. Okay. Oh, so once that is done, let's go to home, which is index. Um, I think it's this one, right? Okay, good. This one, I just got on. Add if. So if session sources, that's where I are the sources. Session session sources or uh, NB. NB. Okay. Let's go back. The question is used on the limits. Let's keep. It as we have completed, so we are ready to print out the great session message. I also don't know that for sorry about that. So, okay, please make sure it's here. And we are also going to do that for this one instead. So, so we also write this. This is a uh, to fresh is the new new same so we have to read again. Uh, I think I did it all. Okay, so the last one is to do it all. I tried to do it. So we need to change from first step to our way. Right now, let's do the get. So we get just about this. Get this is just straightforward. And I think we are going to do something here. So let's delete. Let's just delete everything here. Let's do function. You don't need to do this. I just want to know that you can do this in your route to go. You know, after this, you have to control that service for service purpose. So the posts, posts, and ID. So when we say post, you find the ID, ID, and this is just with posts. Okay, so I want to die and print the posts. I haven't done this before, I'm writing it. This should work. So it goes so let's go back to the data. And this is what it needs. So this one should be deletes. Delete instead. Okay. So, so now delete is not defined. So yeah. So the route is not defined. I think we can pass a name here. Good. The main, which is the leads. Okay, so the first is so yeah, we have the leads. You see, I have a data out here. So what we're doing is now actually delete it. So the lead we can use there are the leads. I think we are doing post the leads. And that is all we need to do. Uh, let's do, let's just work copy this. 
copy this to the web. Again, you don't need to put this in the route. I'm just like showing you this is actually possible. So let's delete it. Save this first. So let's go down to this. I can see the thing because it's deleted already. I should delete this. Has been deleted. All right. So basically, hope you are following. Okay. Hope you are playing this tutorial. Now, I think the last is actually the last some um, actually some uh, the last thing we need to do, which is um, let me see. They're gonna check the cards here. Which is a um, validation. Yeah, so we need to validate our form. So we need to validate our form. Let's first get with that. So, how did it say? So, the first thing is to press validate. So, let's go to our end controller. I want the app restore. So, before we proceed to move anything, we need to just call the quest. Once you validate, so the first thing that I can see about it is actually the first thing I have is like trying to I want to make sure my cattle is required so it is not empty. Required and it is a string. What is the sorry? Yeah, and is it a string? So come on, please gonna copy this. So this is gonna be for a user also, and this is gonna be for content. Okay, good. So, what is the only what is that? What is that? So, I should require this. I should send this. You notice what we actually because if it, it, the validation is not there, it's supposed to like send and enter the request and say the validation you know, doesn't actually happen. So, what we need to do is now actually show it out. So, this is we, we can we can say we can do this. This is what we this more like this. This means I'm sign this slash is so actually just put it as an array, so they are still the same thing actually. So let's look at how we can render it out. So this is a way to render it out as well. Why I actually don't like this, I think there is please the way I do it here. The way I do it here. So let's go to the phone. We are going to the phone. Let's do so. I just call at error. So error will be the type to remember that is in here. So if there's error in the type to you can see so let's go to PID dot text red five hundred. So what do you like on here? So if I go around I take this with the first person message. Yeah, so message is the default here. So message is the default here with the device. So we need to do end error. And there also let's copy this. Copy this. Whatever here. So this is going to be user. It's going to look for content. Content. Okay. Cool. So I'm um, going to refresh this and let's click on send. You can see the title is required. It's not being required. That's the user. Right. All right, hope you actually like this tutorial. I hope you are ready to start into your larvae journey. All right, please like this tutorial. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like, comment, share the video, and drop your tutorial request. And I will see you later. Please, it's been just a piece.